ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਨਾ ਜੋ ਕਿ Yes. 
see him grabbing my throat? Yes? You say yes? It's okay. It's just you and I. You look so awful when you come. I don't want to beat you up. You look so awful when you come. I don't want to beat you up. You look so awful when you come. I don't want to beat you up. What? Now that I think about it, what, what happened last night, or whatever, like, you didn't get charged for anything, they weren't going to charge you for anything, they just made up those charges, like, resisting an arrest and, uh, assaulting an officer. Yeah. Like, none of that would have happened if they didn't do what they did. Yeah, exactly. They weren't going to arrest you for anything. They weren't going to do anything. For what? They couldn't do anything. They weren't doing anything. Yeah. <coughs> I know. Because they all fucking planned it. It is what it is. So that's what you're telling people about me. Huh? So that's what you're telling people about me. What do you mean? The, the yeah. Wow. Well, no wonder I'm not getting a fucking job. And, I, uh, and he's like, and f you know, he never asked for a reference. So, and none of his employers that he applied for, he's never asked for a reference. I've never asked for one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. I have the email. Oh, I don't know, it doesn't help me. Well, dude, I just, I don't want to. I just, the stuff with the police really scared the crap out of me. And then when I thought you were going in the van, like, they were going to do something bad to me. That's not true. I didn't say that. Yeah, that's not true. I didn't say that. They fucking cornered me. I know, I know. What are you saying? And by what they were saying, it seems like you had a record. That's why the police came. But obviously that's not true. Okay, well, let me call the lawyer tomorrow. Friday, almost a week after the event, <coughs> heading to the police station.
season tomorrow. I just seen his partner walk by. Um, they're all done. They're all done? Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow daytime. Five five thirty tomorrow evening. Okay, okay thank okay. you. March 30th, 2013, meeting with... Why don't you go on a date somewhere? Who? Go on a dating website. No. Why not? It's stupid. Mm, nah. You just need to find the right girl. I've gone this long. How old are you now? Old. No, seriously. Are you in your 50s? No. 40s? Yes. Dude, you still have a whole life ahead of you still. Nope. You're saying, you're saying, you're, you're like talking like you're, it's like the end. Yeah, the solution is I have to figure out who's behind this shit. But and you want to figure it out by yourself? You can't... No. Can you not... 6.56 p.m. So a gas pedal. Thank you. 
Well, you can be honest. We're being open here, okay? You don't like what I'm saying. No, it's not it. What? April 20th, 2013, the time is 5.59 p.m. I'm going to meet you. And um, my goal is going to be <coughs> to tell her that we should not associate or associate as much. Anyway, that's that. You should go for a massage. I think that would really help you. No, I don't pay for anything I can get free. Including massages, if what? I wanted. I give you a massage? I know you would. <laughs> Say it again, you would never get to pay anything for anything I can get for free? I would never pay for anything I can get for free. Oh, okay. My hips are shot, my knees are shot. Yeah, but you're still pretty good in bed, right? Are you? Oh God, please tell me you're not. You are? Mm -mm. Terrible. Fuck, you're old, man. You're old. Mm -hmm. You're old. I told you. You don't, you don't know how to move or anything? Nope. Fuck, then what good are you, man? I can take you home now. No, I'm just joking. I mean, in bed, like, if your <clears throat> hips are shot, and your legs are shot, how do you move in bed? Well, I'm by myself. Right? So, yeah. What do you mean, you're by yourself? I don't, I haven't been with anyone in a very long time. You know, I think you should get out there. I think you need to get back out there in the real world. I am in the real world. No, I mean, out in the sex life world. Oh, yeah, because that's really that important. I think you're missing out in life. <clears throat> I think that's what makes you, it's making you so low. <laughs> I think that will like make boost up your energy or something. It will give you more happiness in life. I'll make myself happy. But it's not the same. You understand that sex releases endorphins and like these chemicals. <laughs> and hormones. It's probably all stuck in my body. No, because I can release that on my own. Not like that. Yeah. It doesn't do the same thing, trust me. I'm just so, trying to help you, man. So how are we talking? Uh, you weren't talking about your, mas your masseuse. It was a really good massage, I was telling you. Yeah, so let's, well, how do we get from that to talking about me in bed? <laughs> well, you should call this guy up anyway. I don't need to get out of my system. I think you need to get out of your system. <laughs> to make my boobs like really oh, big. Implants. Or implants. Well, I'm not commenting on your chest. You, you had to. I'm saying. <laughs> 
one I would know, and two, not going to go there. <laughs> I didn't say you had to. I'm just saying. Okay, so we not talk about. <laughs> Did it get stoned? Why are your cops there? I don't know. Fuck. Why are the cops are just sitting there? Oh my fucking god. Next to We're not doing anything illegal, right? As far as I know, we're having. Okay, drive away, cops. February. Fucking shit. I'm paranoid. Don't. Is it illegal to smoke in a car? Yes, it is. It is? Yes. Then you're doing it and the cops are... No, it's... No, I thought you said it was a, I thought you said something else. Is it bad to sit a loiter around the parking lot? Oh my god, you know what? Fuck it, whatever. You know what? We're not doing anything bad. Nothing's going on. Really, you're just gonna fucking sit there, dumbass? Just... Don't don't look over there because we don't want to draw attention. I've had them surround my car, gun, weapons ready. Why? You're not doing anything. Yeah, well, that's the whole point. March 30th, 2013, meeting with Izzy. Buy my socks at Mark's, yes. Yeah. 
feet are hot though. Yeah, my feet are sweating. Staples. What's so funny? Do we give you a head massage so you can fall asleep? No. It's okay. So Tog, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> okay, this is weird. Seriously. If I gave you money, would you take it? Nope. What if I hit in your car? And then I find it, right? <laughs> Just out of the blue. Oh, look it! Underneath the floor mat. Wow. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed? Please stop staring at me like that. It's just like... Holy shit, there's a guy in there. You got in okay, I hear? Yeah. And you're in the tub. Yeah, how do you know? What's that? How do you know? Because I can tell by the echo. Oh. Alright, so you're all set for the night then? Yep. Good. What time is it? I don't know, like 12. 12, 15, I think. Alright, well, I'm gonna let you go. Have a good night. Alright, you sound like you're in good spirits. Yeah, kind of. Kind of? <clears throat> no? I fell in the bath. Oh, Lord. No, I'm not like I fell on it. Like I was getting in the shower to wash my hair before I got in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. And I fell on the shower. Well, that's over. Now you can just lay in it and relax. I know, but I fell really hard. I don't know why. It was like too fast. It happens so fast. It happens. All right, I'll talk to you next time. All right, have a good night. Bye. This is me, and let's go back to my sister, because I swear we look alike. Wait, hold on. That's her. You don't think we look alike? Well, wait, we talk alike. Yes. We're alike! We're alike. Wait! Is your car off? It is off. Okay.
are we fucking doing? Let's see what other photos I can come up with. Which one is mine and which one is yours? Okay, I need to have a serious conversation with you. Because I know you're not going to accept it. That's right. For anyway. But I want you to accept it. And wait, and I have this whole thing planned out in my head. And the whole speech prep prepped. So, I was in your shoes one time. You were what? I was in your shoes. Maybe not like in the, your exact shoes and your size or whatever. And what you're going through. And But there was always times in my life... Or, go ahead, you're making fun of me now. I'm not, I'm listening. Okay, but there was always times in my life where I had people in my corner. Where you don't have people in your corner because you can't have people in your corner because of your situation. I got a couple. Yeah, but barely. And you can't really talk to anyone, and you can't really get people to help you. And the only people that do help you is through online donations. Listen, anyways... I was thinking of karma, and I asked you if you believed in karma, because I, I was thinking of you a week ago, and I was like, fuck, I need to help Anthony, I don't know how I'm going to help him, and then I was like, dear God, and I prayed one night, and I was like, dear God, please give me a miracle, and a miracle came in the mail for me, and I got my GST check, and not only that, but my foster parents send me money, because they send me money sometimes. Once in a blue Where do they live? In BC, in Vernon. And so, I want you to, I want you to accept this money, a because, just wait, because I don't want you to worry that I don't have enough money. You gotta get your computer fixed. And I did. Bullshit. No, I did it. I'm going to, but I got it. I'll figure it out now. I'm gonna get it fixed because now I have enough money, and not only that, but I'm gonna have enough money to get my age and more money. Sun's in my eyes. I'm listening. I just wanted to know why I'm moving the car around. And and more money to get me through the rest of the month. Way much more money than I would even thought. So, so how much money did you get? About two hundred. <laughs> That's not a lot of money. Plus, I have another fifty bucks in my account. Plus the money that I have here for you. I appreciate it. Please, can you please take it? 
I appreciate it, but I can't. Why not? Please, for crying fucking out loud. Oh my God. Please, please. Let's drop the topic for now. No, we're not dropping this topic. Because I need time to digest this. Please, I've worked this all out all week. I worked I really understand. hard. I figured this out for you. I've been trying to help you, and now you're fucking dissing it. I am not dissing shit. I worked really hard to figure this out. I worked out my budget. I worked out everything. I got this all figured out. I got my GC check unexpectedly. Can, can, don't yell. I don't like loud. I'm not yelling. Well, can you tone down? Like I'm loud? not yelling. Oh, well, now you sound like Bambi. Please, you're being difficult, and I'm trying to help you in a tough position, and I get that you can't accept it because of where we're, where we met, okay? But forget about how we met. Just forget about it. Forget everything else. Move on, whatever. I don't care. Overcome and adapt, okay? You need to learn how to survive here, buddy. And I know if you're how gonna, to survive. If you're, gonna, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna learn how to survive, you're gonna learn how to accept. How was your week? It was great. Just let me have some time to think about it. Jeez. It's not a lot, but it'll, it'll help you. For the time being, I only accept donations not less than ten thousand dollars. So, well, perfect. It's less than ten thousand dollars. No, more than ten thousand dollars. Well, now you're fucking making it complex. Mm. I just that's my standard. I can't lower it. How is your week? I'm slowly trying to. Pull away from Clubhouse, so Thursday and Friday I didn't go in. Oh, no, Except wait. Today. Today no, wait. Friday. Wednesday and Thursday I didn't go in. I stayed home and I did a bunch of stuff. Did you go online, research more? I did. Yeah? And what did you research? Have you thought about it? No. I need time to think. Oh, how much time do you need? I don't know, at least seven, eight years. You know, I worked really hard, Anthony. Is it just like don't push? I, I let me digest it. It's it's gotta think of it as if somebody uh, no, made you an offer. Don't and it's like think of me as a fucking low income person. Think of me as just another person in the real world trying to help you. Don't think of it as oh, I shouldn't be taking your money because you're an Asian. I shouldn't be taking your money because of how I met you. Just forget about that fucking crap. I know why you're thinking it, and forget about it. If you're gonna treat me as a real person, then treat me as a real person. Okay, Don't think so about I'll it. treat you as a real person. Do you like me? Like a lot? You're okay. You're okay. I don't like like you. I just want to help you out. Oh, God, if you think this is a me giving you money for any of the anything, no, 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 that has no nothing I, I to don't. Do with I don't it. mean that at all. I mean, put the put that aside. You can stick it in here. There's the liquid in there. Yeah, was it the other day? There I have was a hoodie on. Can I take off my jacket? Yes, you're covered pretty good. Thank you. You got a bra, that's good. Everything's good. It's safe. But in a lot of cases, more and more now, we're. Uh, these guys, what they do is they'll, they'll hack into people's computer, like laptops, just... They, they Isn't it illegal to hack? Very, very. You know, so how, what, what, how these people not get what, what they've done was, how this got exposed was there's a site out there, like, what is it, Voyeurs or something, I don't know, there's a lot of these sites where they find, they end up finding a female and they'll actually video record her getting undressed or whatever off of her own without even her knowing. So there's like a big warning. And, and that was on uh, mainstream news where they're saying, if you see your little light on your laptop on for your camera, um, yeah, it's, so, I mean, that shit goes on all the time. So the technology is definitely there. You know what happened yesterday? What? I was showering and guess what happened? The whole shower curtain rod fell on my head. The whole thing fell on my head. Okay, it fucking really hurt. I almost blocked out in the shower. What happens is, on the police computer, somebody 
that puts in the information. So the cops then just simply, in their minds, oh, uh, this person is uh, has a nuclear bomb, for example. So that's how they get um, perpetuate the whole thing. And then you try to explain to them, for example, you know, I don't have a nuclear bomb. Like, you know, sure you don't. You know what I mean? They're going to believe what's being presented to them to the authority that they accept, not through an average person. So, and then same with government officials and, and, and anything and anybody. There was actually... Clubhouse is different than any organizations because it has those stupid fucking standards. If it didn't have those fucking standards, then it would have been fucking fine. That's what Clubhouse is. Exactly. And in any organization, there's clients, and then there's staff, and there's a separation, and there's no members, and there's no fucking members are involved. That's the problem with, at Clubhouse, is that there's standards. And then members get pulled in and dragged into stuff that they shouldn't be really dragged into stuff, but then they get dragged into it, and then there's mixed messages going on for members, and that's why they get fucked up in the head. It's because there's no boundaries. There's no boundaries between me members and staff. There's no boundaries between standards. You know, they say all this bullshit crap or all, we're improving their wellness, but you know what? They're not improving their wellness. They're just making it worse. Where you go into another organization, you know that they're a client, you treat them as a client, you go home, there's no on-call phone, there's no nothing. You know that they're staff, you know? There's, you know, the, there's other organizations out there that's nothing like Clubhouse that I'm going to be working at. So you want clinical? Yes. So based by on that standard you just said, then we shouldn't even be talking now. Why? Because from a clinical perspective, uh, I don't work there anymore and you, you, you would be a client and I don't talk to clients outside of office hours. You don't have a job anywhere. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. You're welcome. So what kind But you can't even do your housing job because it didn't even let you because of the fucking meetings that you had to attend and the fucking standards that prevented you to do any of the stuff that you ha wanted to do. Oh, I still did shit, like the Yeah, but program. look how much fucking time, it, well, all the stuff that they prevented you from doing that you could have done. Like the stuff that you could have done for housing that Tim didn't agree because you have to be in meetings because those meetings are important and you have to set a good example for members to and attend, attend I, and, the meetings. And, and did I ever... Did I ever uh, put housing after meetings? No, but I'm just I saying. I had a flag for it, but I had a job to do. Right. But see, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about Clubhouse. <laughs> okay? What do you want to talk about? Nothing but Clubhouse. <laughs> did you think about it yet? I'm still talking with you. Wait. Did you think about it yet? I'm still thinking. Okay, well, you think about it. Is he? There's a drug deal going on.
gonna drive by thinking that you're actually crying. <laughs> On. I was gonna sh no, close wait. it. No, no, go back on that same though. Click on it for a second. Is that you? Wait. You seen the tank top picture of me? Was that is that you again? What do you mean? Oh, wait, go on this thing. No. What? <laughs> no, no, Izzy. No, I know what you're trying to do. What do what? What doing anything? What do you mean? Oh, don't, don't start that shit with, uh, I can take you to the train station. Oh my God. Izzy, don't start with the crying. Okay. Seriously, I don't like it. Okay, fine. You seen the tank top? Is that all the pictures that's on me? All you're gonna see. Oh, it's so fair. What do you want to see? <laughs> Everything. There's nothing to see. You've seen. You've, you've seen. I've seen your head and your mouth and your teeth and your hands. Put it on the front seat and then put it. 
Oh, well, because I would normally set it down where you're sitting. Well, then I can move. It's good. It's in. Well, that's what you get for punching the dashboard. I broke my hand. You didn't break your hand. It feels like I broke my hand. You didn't break your hand. It hurts. Laugh about it. Yeah, I know you want to. <coughs> Would you feel better if you hit me? No. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of granola bars, but somebody said, you know, they offer me food, right? And so at first I was like, oh, cool. And then, you know, after you're like, you're 10,000. <laughs> my bra is killing me. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, then. Time to go. Oh, I keep wearing bras. You make me boob so much. <laughs> At least you're wearing a bra. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're going to be wearing bras, always, and sweat, big baggy sweatshirts, always. I don't want to accept it. I don't want well, I own bras, so I can wear bras. Yep, okay. And I don't want any baggy sweatshirts. That hoodie's perfect. I'll give you a call as soon as I get to the south then. Okay, let me go take my bath. Can you wait until I call you before you go into the tub? Why? Because it's... Please, I want to go to my bath. Okay, go take a bath. I'm going to call you just to, you know, close up the night. Here's your tea. You heat that up in the microwave. Oh, it's okay. I have a lot of tea at home. Well, I want, I want to throw it out. I'm not going to drink it. It's just I don't like sugar. It's just okay. take, take. I'm not going to take drink it though. Well, then dump it at your place. I don't. I'm trying to get rid of garbage. Okay. You're ready for tea. Why? That's why I'm taking the tea. Is that not of my garbage? I'm not giving you my other garbage here. Okay, goodbye. I'm going to go now. Bye. I'm done briefing this, what this is all about. I know what this is about. What is this about? You're leaving because of what happened. What happened? The situation, I know exactly what you're talking about. The situation with the anonymous tip and all that? Yeah. Who said that? Did Frank say that? No, but I haven't got to <coughs> why you're leaving. Well, obviously it's not if I'm going to spend the time to explain this to you, okay? Okay. There was something else here. I'm going to read it to refresh your memory because I, I'm perplexed. And I am so sorry for the sorry this happened the way it did because I know that you are not capable of doing such a thing. Okay, so what made you say not capable of doing such a thing because you were an alleged party to it and nothing ever happened. So what? Well, someone from the Tracy thought that there was a new police investigation. There is. With this whole anonymous tip? Yes. Is it still going on? I haven't heard anything. Why well, was told by Frank that the police... I don't know, I thought you were thinking that I... That you think. 
I don't know because you were talking to me, so I thought that you were thinking that I may have, like, I don't know, said something to someone and then... No, but the words here are saying, I know you're not capable of doing such a thing, meaning, for, I'll give you an example of how I'm interpreting this. Is there something that, that you don't, that I don't know yet? I just, I didn't know what you were thinking, or what you thought about the situation, and I just... No, that's not how, I mean, the, the whole sentence, just right off the top, impacted me like, I know you're not capable of doing such a thing. Well, I know that you and I had a lot of conversations about stuff before in the past, and what happened, and that... Well, I was trying to say that, like, I did trust you, and I still do trust you, I just, and I know that you never do anything like that, so those false accusations are bullshit. I mean, I wouldn't do anything like that to you. To anyone? Well, yeah, but I'm, I know to anyone, but to you, because this is, we're, we're you and I are discussed talking right now. All right, well, <clears throat> there's nothing else that is gonna, I'm going to be surprised with that you've heard of. You tell me. All right. The clubhouse is not being run properly. This place is going to get shut down. I know that for a fact. But the clubhouse model also conflicts with, for example, outside laws, furthering that example, say the Privacy Act, as well as the clubhouse model. Well, I'm looking for the housing. Does it put your mind at ease with regards to the cause? Yeah. Actually, I was going to bring my laptop in here, but I forgot. <clears throat> what was said to you? Based on your comment, they're a bunch of liars. No, this organization is bullshit. The food program won't shut down. If it does, then it could be some serious repercussions. What? Don't worry about it. The food program is going to stay. And this what? Whole program is going to get shut down. This is bullshit. This is so. Izzy, now, now you're now you're leading with emotion. No, because so what I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm so sick of this. Like I have been what? dealing with this program for a year and a half, and I've seen what happened to members. I've seen what happened to staff. And it's just, just I'm done. I'm, I'm done trying it. I'm mad at you. Good. Good. That makes everything so much easier for you. Mm -hmm. I get you a picture of me. I really want to tell you to fuck you. Good. So I'll say it. Because you're running away now. I'm not running away. Yeah, you are. No. Yeah, it's you're called, leaving. You're leaving members behind. It's called self-preservation. Yeah, whatever. Well, then get mad at me. It's okay. This program is going to be a shit show without you. You know this. I really want to, but you're leaving. <laughs> you are leaving. See. You're an asshole for leaving. I'm See. really sorry if I'm being mean to you mm -hmm. about it right now, but I'm really mad that you're leaving. Because, you know, I can't, because there's a lot of members who won't step up, who like, who will say stuff. Mm -hmm. like this. Well then, and I can't be the only one so then because now my housing will be at risk and my housing will get kicked out. Mm -hmm. I, I trust then would be more accurate word that I would use that whatever you may have been feeling guilt wise and whatnot has been put to rest. Is Frank going to give you a reference letter? <clears throat> 
I'm not exactly sure what's running through Frank's mind, but that's between him and I. That's not your fight. But the clubhouse belongs to you guys. <coughs> not people come, people go. I'm just another staff who voted for